Welcome back to Dallas, Texas and the Trijicon live streaming event. We are really excited to be here and we're excited to have you here. Whether you're seeing us through Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook, we are so proud that you're part of an event we've been looking forward to for a long time. One of the reasons that we are really excited is the new Trijicon 10 mile scope, one of the new lineup of hunting scopes being introduced in 2020. There's a terminology that we use at Trijicon and it's you know, talking about the science of brilliant, you know, brilliant aiming solutions, which this scope definitely is, don't happen by accident. I want to show you a quick video. I think it will give you a better understand what we mean when we say the science of brilliant. Welcome back to our Trijicon live stream event. And before we get too far into the 10 mile, I think it'd be appropriate right now to introduce my partners in crime that we, look, we've been hunting with, talking about, and living this product launch here for quite a while That's now. Right. Of course, we've got my buddy John Fink with Trijicon. He's a product manager. And one of my old, oldest hunting buddies, old Blake Barnett, a fellow Texan and uh, co-host of the DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon TV series. Now, Blake... Uh, if there's any one segment of the hunting and shooting world that is really in the last, let's call it three or four years, just exploded, it's the interest in long-range shooting. That is correct, Dave. And Trijicon has addressed that in spades with the 10 Mile HX series. 100%. And I'm excited both as a hunter for Trijicon and myself because I've been waiting for this scope to come out. This 10 Mile HX, this is a a scope that I got to actually use the prototype during the development yeah. this past fall on a, on a very important, one of my biggest hunts of my career in Alaska for brown bear because of its low magnification on the low side, but its downrange mag magnification that it carries as well uh, for a longer range shot. And like you said, Dave, long range shooting has become very popular as a hobby, but it's also transitioned into uh, for hunting, uh, giving us hunters more of that confidence for that downrange or long-range shot. And I believe that this optic is that one-stop shop, John, yeah. for, for hunters. Yeah, and, and you mentioned, you know, you had one of the, the early prototypes in, in a 3 to 18 by 44, but we also have a 3 to 18 by 50 as well. But yeah, to your point, I mean, while these are long-range scopes, I mean, with that, the, these two 3 to 18 offerings that we have, on three power, you do have a wide field of view. That's correct. So even on a dangerous game hunt like you were on, you had that opportunity to dial down. And if I remember right, you had to take a longer shot than you were expecting or really wanting to on a brown bear. I did. But you had that upper end magnification That's as right. well. That's right. It was a 280-yard so, shot that, you know, most right. brown bear hunts, probably most people that have hunted brown bear would say, well, that's a long shot. And, you know, you're normally in the alders and you're up close, which can happen, which is you know, that three power magnification is what you want for that wide field of view, but I had to shoot a bear across a lake and it was yeah. towards the end of my hunt and I was confident in the optic because I practiced a lot with it on the range, but I was able to dial up to 18 power with a, with a comfortable rest, I was able to make that ethical yeah. shot. Mike, let me jump in here and tell the people that are watching uh, that we are gonna be giving this exact scope away today. And, uh, you know, all you need to do to be eligible, you can make a comment. We're going to have a question and answer period where John and Blake will address any 
thoughts or questions that you may have on the 10 mile HX series. You know, Blake, it, it is, it's important to, uh, you know, understand the technology in scopes has come so far in, in really a relatively short time. Yes. You know, you and I, in fact, you know, the interest in long range shooting, John, has spawned not only in the industry that scopes are definitely a part of, but like our friends Tim Fallon down at the FTW right. Shooting School that have designed, you know, long range courses. And they're not always promoting long range hunting. Correct. They are teaching the ability. That's and for right. us to learn our deal and where I first got my hands on the 10 mile HX, uh, Trijicon hosted a riders event that they wanted to get them in the hands, yep. and not only it's a fast looking scope. It's like looking at a Corvette; it just looks fast. I mean, it's, yep. it's a, not only a great looking scope. Uh, John, those guys, by the time they left, they were banging twenty inch steel plates at twelve hundred yards. Yeah, that's right. And let me tell you what: there was a yeah. bunch yep. of excited <laughs> riders Absolutely. that left the FTW ranch and said, "This is the scope of the future." And if you're a long range shooter, even if you're not a hunter, if you're a long range right. shooter, it's a scope. If you're a long range shooter that hunts, right. it's still the scope. Well, I think you know, pinpoint yeah. accuracy is so important when you're shooting long range. Yeah. You know, and having all the features. I mean, this has a zero stop on, on the adjusters. Right. It, you have an option of the first focal plane or the second focal plane yeah. for those that are that are into that for long range shooting. And you're right. I mean, this this optic will help a hunter or a shooter learn their limitations yep. while they're while exactly. they're learning to shoot down range. And, and to your point about FTW, you know that they're really about teaching people to make that first shot kill count. That's you right. know, that, that first shot is what matters. So it's not necessarily always about promoting long range hunting or That's long right. range shooting. That's right. But how to, you know, where's your comfortable level and what, you know, how are you going to make that first shot count? And, you know, we, we, we have these three to 18s down there, but then also, you know, with an external adjuster, return to zero adjuster here, we have a five to 25 as well. But then we have two offerings in a six by 24 that have a capped adjuster. So by doing a capped adjuster, it allows us to hold, you know, down the, the, the selling price so we can get somebody now into a long-range scope without them having to spend, you know, nearly $2,000 to get into one. John, it's also important to note that there's a lot of reticle choices, and it is a lighted reticle, the LED. It, it, exactly. Correct. And when you get into the HX line, all of these are going to be in a satin finish, mm -hmm. but the majority of which are MOA-based with MOA adjusters, but we do have... You know, the, the 3 to 18 by 50 that's available in a mill radian adjuster and subtensions on the reticle as well. When you're into these scopes, you start to do get into more complex reticles here. Now, in that 6 to 24 that I was talking about with, with the capped adjuster, we have just an LED illuminated center dot. So it gives you a really brilliant center dot, and then you have MOA holds yep. to go along with that one as well. So very usable you know, complex reticles in these scopes. And Blake, from a hunting standpoint, no matter what what continent you hunt on, there are animals you think of as close range situations. Let's take elephant and buffalo. If you're right. in Africa, in North America, yep. you may have the bears, you know, yep. or generally shot. But there are a lot of animals just by the very nature of their habits and their habitat. <laughs> or animals that are going to be taking uh, long range yep. is not the exception, it's the rule. I'm thinking mountain goats, I'm thinking, you know, pronghorn, uh, the big yep. muleys and elk of our American 100%. West. Yep. And you've got several hunts for some of those species lined up and you said that's your scope this year. Absolutely. Well, I think the beauty of this optic, this line of optics is a lot of hunters are like me where we're just going to shoot the same rifle all year long, you know, so this, this, this optic gives you that range to be able to do it all. I'm it going does. to have this optic on a, on a Ruger 300 wind mag. It's going to take and go on every single hunt that I have. It's going to give me the Very capability cool. for, for rattling whitetail bucks at close range in mm. South Texas to a mountain goat hunt. Because you can always Columbia. dial down. I can always yeah. dial down to three power, and I can always crank it up to 18 power or to 25 or 24 power. So And again, whether you're, no matter what uh, platform you're watching us today, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, you can make a comment, you can ask a question, and we're going to draw some lucky winner It's going to take this scope home, and if you're the winner, we'll PM you, and we'll reach out and say you've had a great day and you're going to get a great scope. Yeah. <laughs> a, great, a great scope. You know, John, one other function that really is, when I, when I've got my hands on this scope, I am a really very serious predator hunter. Okay. And, and coyotes are really mm -hmm. my game of choice. And a lot of the places I hunt, it's big open country. Right. And, and boy, a scope like this, the 10 mile HX is going to shine for absolutely. predator hunters. Yeah, absolutely. There's no question. And, you know, having that LED illumination with the 10 settings on it, you know, settings one and two are going to be really dim. 
So, you know, for really low light, you're going to be able to use those. But, you know, other night hunting situations, you've got the other illumination settings for your predator hunting. So, yeah, a lot of application on your predator And that hunts. LED lighting is going to really help in those predator hunt situations, especially in low light, dark conditions. Well, well that, in those coyotes or wildcats. Uh, well, even at, at night, shining yeah, in the big light, because yeah, I, exactly. I already... I mean, you know, I use an Accupo I've used an AccuPoint right. for a, for a long time on that, yep. and even at night with a bigger light shining, you still even with a, a big you know hundred thousand candle power, uh, you still see that that's right. you know aiming point. I guess that's you know when you talk about brilliant aiming solutions, solutions. and stuff. Yeah. You know, if you're a Trigicon owner, you know exactly what that means. Yeah, I mean, that it really is. It's it's a uh, it is a brilliant aiming solution, and boy, there is just something about being able to, to zero in on one specific, specific point. And it, you know, we talk about the BAC, the bend and aiming concept. Right. You know, this technology, when you have one illuminated aiming point, it allows you to use both eyes open. Because, yeah. you know, most people, including Dave growing up, you know, I was a scope shooter, but I had that left eye yep. uh, shut. And now I find myself shooting with both eyes open. Right. And where that really can come into play is if you've got an animal that's that's moving, you can see where he's moving to. And, and that is really, uh, you know, that been an aiming concept. That's not just a concept. That's a proven, right. that's a proven advantage in hunting. Hey, we got our first uh, series of questions. Uh, John wants to know what kind of glass the 10 mile HX comes with. Yeah, the 10 mile HX is using the, the same glass as everything from our here online that we introduced earlier today, right on up to our AccuPoint. So it's the same quality glass, same quality coatings, um, no sacrificing quality there. You're going to have a really crisp, bright sight picture. Nick has asked us, does it come with any tools that they need to adjust the windage or the elevation? That's a really good question. Yeah, the, the, the only tool that you need, and it does come with a millimeter and a half um, hex key, but when you remove this top cap after you've set your zero, there, there's a plate that is secured with three uh, millimeter and a half hex screws. You loosen those and let that plate drop flat, slowly rotate it until it comes to a stop, retighten those. Replace this at the zero, retighten your top cap, and then you're, you're set. Ready to go. Yep. Yep. And then it also comes with a three millimeter hex key for your adjustable magnification lever here. Should you want to move it to the other location, you need to remove this screw. If you want to remove it all together, it also comes with a plug screw to put in there. All right. Now, Charlie's asked a question that I know really everybody that's <laughs> listening to this wants to know yeah. the answer to. Charlie says, I want to know when I can purchase a 10-mile HX. Now, that's yeah. something exciting because you can do, if you're in Dallas, Texas at the DSC convention, you, you can right do now. that today. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. But if not, John, what yeah. do we do? We're, we are shipping to dealers right now, so I would encourage them to get down to their dealers and uh, see if they have one on the shelf. And if they don't have one yet, encourage them to get one there. So okay. much scope you're going to want. We got another question. Ian had asked, is it offered in first and second focal plane? Yes, yeah, so, uh, across the, the 10 mile line, we have in both 10 mile and 10 mile HX, a, a mix of first and second focal plane offerings. All right, our next question is from Derek. Derek says, the 10 mile HX, where did that name come from? Yeah, so the, the, the 10 mile isn't a promise of how far you're gonna be able to shoot this, okay? <laughs> It's actually the name of a mountain range in Colorado, and right. then also in northern Montana, there, there is a Mount 10 Mile. So, yeah, yeah, that, that's where it came from. We just felt like it was a good name, being, you know, western long range where you can see long distances and a name that fit. We got a couple more questions. Remember, yeah. keep them coming because if you make a comment or ask a question, you become eligible to take a 10 mile home with you. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. We'll be alerting the winner this afternoon. Got another question from Kermit. He asks, how much do you have, uh, or how much do you have new for this year? Sorry about that, Kermit. So how much do so we have new? New just in, in the traditional hunting scope line, you know, from the Ascent to the Huron, up to the 10 miles here, including the Credos and the new Aki points. You're looking at 84 new SKUs. 84, 84 so, new and, and this yeah. is, there's never been a release a product release no. like this. Exactly. Certainly not for Trigicon. I can't think of anybody in this yeah. business that's had this monumental yeah, release it, it, at it one time. A big I totally release. Agree. What a great yeah. day for Trigicon and for hunters both today. Yeah. Okay, well, here's where the rubber meets yeah. the road. You know, if somebody says, look, I've heard enough, that's a scope for me, what's it going to cost me? Yeah, so MSRP range on these scopes, you know, that, that 6 to 24 with the capped adjuster would be your, your opening price point. If, MSRP on that is $1,399, and we go up into our four and a half to thirties and five to fifties over in the regular 10 mile line at 2700. 
So the, the range is really at $1,399 to $2,700. Blake, doing what we do and doing the shows and people see us on the TV shows and, you know, they come up and they don't want to talk football. Everybody wants to talk hunting and stuff, which is what we love to, you know, shooting and hunting. But every year we both, you know, have somebody come up and say, listen, I, I've, I've watched your show for years. I know you guys are a fan of Trigicons, you know, but, but you know, uh, you know, I, I, I've really got to save my nickels and dimes. You sure. know, I know there are, there are products out there that I may not have to spend the same money, but the answer to that is, and you're not going to get the same quality scopes. Correct. I, I tell people all the time, there's, you know, when it comes to shooting and hunting, there's no more important piece of equipment that you have. It doesn't matter what you've spent on a hunt, how hard you've hunted, sweat, blood, and tears. You may have the new top 10 right. three-legged gazork out there in front of you <laughs> at 300 yards. It doesn't matter if you can't, if you're fogged up, if you've got salt water, uh, if you're, it's affected by fog, rain, <clears throat> snow, sleet. They are Alaska to Africa. One hundred percent. I'm a firm believer that your firearm is only as good as the optic you put on. That's it. And you know, because of the experiences that you and I have had, Dave, and and our friends, John, you as well. I mean, yeah. ruggedability, ruggedability. Is that a word? Being <laughs> rugged, a rugged scope, a rugged optic is is so important to be able to That's handle right. all the extreme conditions from around the continent. Being an international hunter. Trigicon has never failed me in any type of situation. So right. you're absolutely right. Well, we've seen yeah. them survive plane wrecks, horse wrecks, yeah. plane, several horse <laughs> wrecks, some stumbling and That's bumbling correct. and rocks. And, absolutely. And, I have dropped mine more than one occasion. Yeah, it's never, never failed me. A rugged piece of gear. Look, we are really, really excited to be here at the DSC show and the live event with Trigicon. There's more stuff coming. Stay tuned. Next up, I'm going to have my buddy Dan Catlin. We're going to be talking about the flagship product of Trigicon, the AccuPoint series. And then after that, as we wrap up today, we're going to have an announcement for Trigicon. It's seriously going to be the biggest game changer to hit the shooting industry this year. You don't want to miss this.